I um I had I was reading some of the comments about our first episode and something that we did co- go away from that we didn't really hit on um, is why you walked from the game a little early if you wanted to talk about that. Well, I walked from what game? Well, SMU. Oh, um, SMU. Playing ball there. You. Uh, the coaches, bro. Right. The politics within the game. The coaches was hoes. Right. They was all hoes. Every single one of them. Coach Stubb was cool. Every other person was was a hoe. Yeah. All them niggas was hoes, bro. And I don't care if y'all listen to this. I will, I will post this clip on my page <laughs> just to get more people to watch it. Them niggas was hoes. Everyone, Coach Morris was a hoe. All them niggas was hoes, bro. And 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 that's how I feel. And right. I can see. And I yeah. can feel that way because it happened to me. Right. I understand what y'all was doing, mm-hmm. but y'all did it to me. I understand that y'all are. Uh, it's new management. Y'all are new coach. Everybody gets wiped away. It's our system now. It's this, it's not. I understand that. So I understand what you did, but it happened to me. So therefore, to me, it's F you. You right. a hoe. You know what I'm knowing, saying? Knowing so, what I know, um, my freshman year playing with you, the only good thing about that team was the kick return. And that was all because of you. So you won... Correct me if I'm wrong. You won the freshman all conference. Oh, not freshman. You won all conference in kick return, right? Yeah, first team. And I had, I think, the most all purpose yards that year. Right. In our so, conference. Fast, in our conference. Not just in our conference. Right, in the conference. Fast forward a year later, how is it that, new coaching staff, how is it that you do not. Um, I don't play kick return at right. all? How? how? How does that happen? It's just how it sounds. I don't know. <laughs> That was you know what I'm saying? Just, just how it sounds, I have no idea. And I, I mean, that, you, that's just how the cookie crumbled, bro. I don't know if you was lying to me or not. I remember you telling me you said that you asked the special team coach why when you on the kickoff return. And he, he said, we have two other people better than you. Freshmen's coming in. Yeah. He said James Prochet was better than me, which he's he's a friend of mine. And he said Braden West was better than me. At kick returns. And he, and he, yeah. And, he, and they're both friends of mine. He said, we have two people better than you. And then just as the year went on, we couldn't like, get anything yeah, we, productive we, we, out we of the kick do, return team. And then they put me in their Navy game, right? Yeah, they put me in their Navy game, not even to catch the kick, to but block you know, the kick. But you know what was That's funny? Crazy. You know, they they kick, they put me in their <laughs> say kick return. I wasn't the deep man. I was on the right of the deep man, so I wouldn't catch the ball. They just put me in there. To say, okay, let's make this nigga happen. But God is good. So <laughs> the ball got kicked to me, and I broke for like 40 yards. But the crazy part so, about that game, not to cut you off, the crazy part about that game, every kick return, you returned it, I know, past the 50. And yeah. I remember after that game, me, me and you were walking um, next to each other, and the special teams coach shook your hand. What did he tell you? He said, man, we didn't prepare for you. If I would have known you was back there, we would have completely changed it up. We couldn't stop you. And... And that's what Navy special teams coach said. And then we then we go to Sunday, and our special teams coach says, "Where you're right next to me." He says, "I apologize." Right. I the apologize. last game of the season. I apologize for basically screwing you over this whole year. You should have been playing this whole time. And ask him. It's too late for. And ask, and the ask him. About it is pull up the film. Like ask I, I him. His name people. is Coach Riley, and he he's a good dude, bro. And Coach, coach Riley, and you know what? Step and Riley was all, was a good dude, but Riley was in a position to where he just didn't call the shots. You know what I'm saying? So you know, is that the politics, the dirty game of the politics? Because that's how I feel yeah, when they he, came. Riley wasn't just caught. Riley couldn't just put back there who he wanted to put back there. Mm. So Riley was actually a good dude. But he did come up to me. You could ask him, bro, and right. say, I apologize. Yeah, I, I You know up. what I'm saying? Like, and he is, you should have been playing. my guy, too. I actually and like Riley's Riley. a cool dude. Do like Riley. Riley is a cool dude, bro. So I'm, I'm not going to say F Riley. Or Riley's a hoe. He's not. Riley's a good dude also. Mm. But all the bro, Coach Gunn is a hoe too. All them, all them niggas is hoes, bro. Coach Gunn, you saw what I did last year. Who was Riley? Oh, Coach he came Riley. from you. Bro, all them niggas is hoes, bro. And I don't care. I'm not filtering myself because yeah. they, they really hoes. Guns yeah. a hoe. All them niggas is hoes. Y'all are weak, bro. I used to like Coach Gunn. Bro, it was crazy though, man. It was like they had this. They, they had this agenda for Dion, but the, like. Bro, and the, and the, and the defensive coaches saw it. Bro, I would talk to what's what's his name? Uh, Davis Cornell. I was talking to Malone all the time. He he said, "Dog, we we see what's going on." And I'm not even talking about playing time of offense. It's not because cool. There were at those positions, there were people better than me. I'm not saying I should have played. No, offense. no, no. I'm no. talking about kick return. Yeah, I'm Joe talking about shit. that because I was saying offense. There's people better than me because I'm not an outside receiver. Right on. So there were better outside receivers than me. So right. I understood why I'm not playing on offense. I'm talking about kick return, bro. Mm-hmm. And 
But that's what my thing, bro. I thought I, I felt like you would have had a legitimate shot to be somebody's kick return in the NFL. Bro, look at the article on I would at, say pull up the film. Look at the article on NFL now I mean NFL.com or ESPN, whatever. They said the top ten players in college football under like five ten or whatever. Mm. And I was like number six. Right on. Or number seven. And this to is me, the top ten players in college football. Overall, that year, right. under a certain height, right. and I was on that list. Right on. I mean, come on, bro. The issue, I have, the issue I have with coaching, and if I were to ever get in coaching, man, I would just want to be in a position to where I have control of my room. <coughs> control of my room meaning that if I'm the receiver coach and I think that person X is my best receiver, despite what my OC says about this guy, we need him on the field. Why does my boss control my room? You know what I'm saying? That power struggle, though. And, and it's a lot of coaches I know right now, you know what I'm saying? That's that how are it in is, positions, though. though. That's how it always is everywhere. But what I, I feel like, I feel like Phillips wasn't born that shit, bro. Phillips no, did Phillip, what he want, when he wanted, despite nah. what. It wasn't like that. Because there, there's saying. dude, there's dude, no, there was dudes Phillips wanted to play that, that Jones didn't want to play. No, yeah, no. And I can, really? I can, I can yeah. go from being a prime example, like, my junior year, like Phillips didn't play me for the last six games of the year and played Austin Fuller. Right. Who was another receiver. Austin I mean Austin is my born. Austin was good, but Austin didn't do anything the whole year. I was a starter by all three years at SMU. And he purposely played him just because he did not want me to play. So it was it wasn't no real reason why you say, Okay, I'm gonna start Austin because he's more productive. He ain't played yet this year. No, but that's what I, that's what that's coach, what Shelby's saying though. I, like I, that saying Coach Phillips had, had control over yeah, his room. But what I'm, say, well, but I'm like saying Phillips there's had control over the room when I was there. Yeah. But I've had a I've had So a you're coach you're arguing Sydney. for Shelby's point. You're you're saying yeah, he did. But I'm saying no, there's guys okay, okay. that Phillips didn't want to play that Coach Jones was like, No, I want that guy in the game. Right on. There are specific people yeah. of, of that sort. So yeah. I've had a coach sit me down before the season and say, hey, I love you. You're my guy. I want to start you. I know what you can do. My boss doesn't want you to play. And that, but that's, that and happens that's everywhere, though. But, but my thing but that's, is, but that's why, really, why, why is that so corrupt in the, in the game? It's, 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 not, not, it's not just in the game. Everybody sees it's it. In business, everybody it's in business. Everybody sees stuff different. It's with everything, right? It's, it's. It's in wherever there's a, a hierarchy. A power, a power wherever, structure. Yeah, wherever there's that, the, the, the number one makes, you know, right. he, he over, the CEO, whatever, yeah. ultimately has the final say so, you know? Right. And, and everybody have their guys. So when you have your guys, you're rooting that. for your and guys. And I understand. So when that. it's like that, like if, if, if these people are their guys, you know, like you're going to lose. My, I'm going to lose. I'm, I won't lose with my guys. I know these other guys may be decent, mm -hmm. but if I lose with them, I won't feel like I'm being true to what I said I was going to come here to do. Well, it never so made sense. It don't make sense, was, but it do make sense. It was Phillips is a great coach, by the way. He's yeah, he is. He's, 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 like he's a great coach. And, At the time, I didn't like too. him. Shout out to But man. I love Coach Phillips. Coach Phillips taught me a lot, man. Same, and same, he, same. he's a really good coach. Really, really good coach. Oh, yeah, we ain't throwing shots at The things that confuse me, though, so like, for example, um, it was always you too small. You too small. We can't get you on the field because you too small. You can't block these guys. We're asking you to block. But every blocking play, y'all got me in the game because I'm the best blocker. So you know what I'm saying? We need, a, we need another excuse. It's, I know it, I'm just it, saying, it just but, excuses, but they but but it's almost like coaches say that shit as if you're not a thinker or if you're. If, I don't think ever. Like that shit would be so stupid to me. I don't think oh, ever sure again be. a person would say you're too small because. The way the game is nowadays. Oh no, I'm just saying that's what they would lie and no, tell me. No, one hundred percent. One specific coach would lie and tell me. Shout out to you. Yeah, uh, but I think now everyone's small. You can't say that. Everyone's huge. No, Don't get you, me wrong. Everybody's huge. You but can there's make a lot that of point. good you, guys. Yeah, he can make that point. And my thing was, it would be a different thing if on certain run plays, y'all would have me out the game, and the person that's in my position is actually successfully blocking. But when we look pulling up the film, and the best clips from the game is me blocking. Stop fucking saying I'm too small. Yeah. <laughs> that don't make sense. That makes zero logic. Yeah. But to switch topics, though, man, I, to switch topics, um, if you could talk to your 18-year-old self before you got to college about the game, what would you tell him? About you, football? If he was standing literally right on the other side of the table with you, it's just about life. It could be football. It could be about man. life, too. But if he was standing literally on the other side of the table, what would you tell him? Uh, uh, Dion, I'll let you go first. One, I would just say listen to Coach Phillips. <laughs> I would just say Coach Phillips want the best for you, bro, and stop taking everything he says so personal, or stop taking his coaching to heart. That's what I would tell myself. And outside the field, I would just say I would have started my business way earlier. I would have, 
instead of being proactive. Yeah, instead of putting well off off for four years, I would have argued it, argued against the compliance or the NCAA rules. I would have argued against it, which I won that. I won that case. I would have made a case my freshman year instead of my senior yeah, year. Yeah, senior. Waiting too late. Yeah, to I, I waited too late. So instead of taking a four year break with well off, I would have just kept it going. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Okay. That's and up. that's a long time. That's it. Because I could have used those stipends for that. I could have used yeah, all of that. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So I could have got an extra head start on behalf of SMU right. for, for my businesses. So that's what I would have did. Yeah, that's real. Keith, what about you? Um, 18 year old self Keenan. I would just told him stay more true to who I was. I felt like when I got to college, it was, was around the same time. Where I was a late bloomer in, in sports. So I got fast out of nowhere my senior year. Mm-hmm. And Coach Jones started out was fast. So Coach Jones really, he didn't only want to use me as a deep threat, but he just, like, I was I was good at going deep. So, mm-hmm. like, my mindset transferred from me being, I, I played basketball my whole life, so I knew how to do a jump ball. I was a jump ball receiver at one point. Right I didn't know how to implement me being that with those other skills. Right so on. I think I made myself one-dimensional, which at one point, like when I hurt my ankle mm-hmm. my sophomore year, it right made me on. sorry because it's like I've only been playing one way. You don't know how to play the other way. So I wasn't, I took myself out of being versatile. Mm -hmm. I didn't work on all aspects of my game. So I would just say stay more true to that and off the field. um, Any life, any life. 